In this quick video guide, I will talk about a shampoo photo optimizer, which is a software that can be used for free in a particular version and can be also bought, but with a cheap price. So let me show you what to do to use this software. So to search for it, download it, install it and run it. So first of all, we are in Google and we want to look for a shampoo photo optimizer like that and you will find here a series of results the first one should be good in my case this is in Italian but I will switch rapidly to English by changing this um, link right here there you go so now we are in English and you can see that you can freely download this the software right here so just click on free download and they will make you offers or uh, things like that. But see there, it's already ready for the download. And I have already downloaded, so I will not download that twice, but you can just say save and you will save it in your computer. You can choose the folder. In my case, it's the download folder. And once you have downloaded, you will find it there. So if you want to buy it, as you can see, you can uh, set here, for example, dollars. Well, actually, you can change the language also right here on the top right. So if you prefer to use another language and once you do that, you can go to products. They have a lot of products, actually, not just this one. This is a, um, a software house that uh, has a lot of products. You can check the products, the deals and so on. No, I don't want to download it. I already told you. Uh, well, basically, that's it. So if you just go here, you will find all the information in the official website. So now let's close this page. And also, I want to show you this other website, which is really nice to download free uh, photos that you can use. And for, as you can see, uh, freely usable images. And I have made a search here like New Year's Eve to find something nice to use for this demonstration. This will be just an, intro an introduction uh, to the software. So in my case, I've chosen this picture right here, which is called, uh, well, you just see here, uh, I think it's called Thought Catalog and you can share this, you can check all the details. You can see similar pictures and you can download it here. Just set this uh, to a medium size. You can also download the other sites, but for this demonstration, I will use the medium size because it's not too small, not too big, something in between. Okay. And once you do that, you will find that in, again in the download folder. You can download many images, as many as you like. So basically, from the download folder, I can double click and proceed with the wizard that will help me to installate, to install, sorry, the uh, software inside my computer. Just, uh, just click on proceed, proceed, forward, forward, and you will just install it in with a few clicks and a few minutes. I've already installed it, so I will not install it again. I will exit the installation okay once you have installed it let me show you i will close down this page and show you everything from start to finish so you will find an icon right here or perhaps also on the desktop and you will double click on that icon and there you go so it's really as you can see it's really fast it's really fast uh, you can extend your trial period. You have 10, I have 10 days right now, but I can continue, uh, extend if I want. And now I am in. So this is the, the first page. Actually, uh, the first time you should see already a picture because uh, this software comes with, uh, with um, yeah, an image like that. So as you can see, you can see uh, uh, many different templates that you can find already and these are not edited so you can use these really nice images 
that you will find already in the software to edit them. So, for example, one quick thing I can do, I can do an optimization, pretty automatic and quick. So I will just click here and say yes, OK. And now it already did an, optimi an optimization. On the left side, I can see the original image. On the right side, I can see the optimized image, so the, the editing that I have done. So it's pretty easy if you want to use it this way. Well, now, now let me change the language here. I must go to, well, you have these drop-down menus as any other software. And let me go to the settings and language. And I will change this into English for you. But you also have other languages if you are coming from another country. OK, now it's in English. So you can see here the tool. It's called Auto Optimize. Well, this is the main feature, actually, because it's pretty quick, pretty fast. You can optimize a lot of images in uh, one single click. OK, I don't want to save the changes right now. So I, I can select many images right here at the bottom like that and just click Auto Optimize to do this the same optimization to all the images. It just will take a little bit longer. But you know, if you are a lazy person, you don't want to go through all the images. You can just apply the auto optimize and you can optimize all the images at once in a really easy, fast and user friendly way. So all the images now have optimized. I can also click on this arrow here and choose other type of optimization, for example, reducing the noise or just the uh, levels or just the contrast. You can activate just one of these optimization or you can auto optimize everything. OK, now let me create another folder. So I want to delete everything. And you can click also with this uh, little um, icon right here to delete everything. So it's empty again. And I want to add a file. I can add a file from my computer or from my uh, smartphone or wherever. So for example, this is one image that I have downloaded. Now it's part partially colored, uh, partially black and white, because the software remembers that I have already made this editing uh, steps in another uh, phase. So if I want to go back, I can click here and go back. Or I can also, well, this is the original image. So I can also click with these double arrows down here to go all the way back. So this is bringing me back to the original image. So there's no change happening here. And again, I can choose the auto optimize, but let me show you something else. Also, you can use this navigation tool right here. You can zoom in, zoom out. You can move into different parts with these arrows, or you can center and fit the image inside your view. And you can also increase or decrease this part at the bottom to show you many more pictures. If you want to drag and drop other pictures, you can do that. It's pretty easy. Just click and drag with the left mouse and drop there. So you can easily add uh, pictures or photographs. You can also add files from here, or you can add entire folders from here. And so these are the basic tools that you find here around. Uh, you can optimize everything with this one. So in this case, I'm optimizing both of the images as we did before. But you also have this kind of uh, magic wand tool, which is not the magic wand tool that you find in Photoshop. Well, since I have mentioned it, this is a software that can be a substitute in Photoshop in many ways, not totally, because Photoshop is a professional. Uh, well, it's actually probably the best photo editing tool out there. So this is just uh, using some of the features and filters and uh, editing tools that you will find also in Photoshop. But here it's free 
for and also it's cheaper maybe than Photoshop well also Photoshop is not so expensive so this is just an alternative if you want and we will do other videos on free alternatives to Photoshop and other uh, professional uh, software if we if you go to the JBD2 channel which is this YouTube channel you can check all the other video right here these are all the guides that we produce guides and video courses on the playlist you will also find some English video courses on Premiere Pro, Cinema 4D, 3D Studio Max, and we will do many more videos and uh, courses uh, in the future. But please support us if you can. You can check our community pages here to support us or also the store. And of course, you can subscribe and make questions or leave some comments, suggestions, and so on. So. Thank you if you subscribe and if you support us. Now let's go back to our uh, image here. So um, there are similar software out there, but this is really nice. It's really quick and easy to use. So I really like this software. Also, I can rotate from here. These are some basic options. And you also have the settings right here with this uh, engine. You can personalize the toolbar editor. Right here on the right side, you have some panels that will do a lot of editing. For example, if I want to use this for an Instagram or some social network, I can set this crop to one to one dimension. So I am basically cropping out like that. So it becomes kind of a squared selection of my overall uh, picture. Okay, so for example, I don't want to see the tree here and I can apply this and now I have this new picture. I can resize this. These are the pixels. For example, I can do 1000 times 1000 and apply and I can insert watermark, which could be a text or an image, for example, a logo. I can insert simple text. In this case, I can um, insert whatever I want, party, okay? And I can change the font, the color, and so on. Well, let's apply this just to keep it there. Also, you have some many correction tool. So the brightness, the contrast, the lightness, the gamma, saturation, if you want black and white again. And what else? Uh, temperature, you have the curves, you have the color, you can straighten uh, when you have like this type of errors in your picture. You can use the perspective crop, the sharpen tool. There you go. So you really have a lot of stuff that you can use. And again, it's pretty similar to what you find in other photo editing software included Photoshop. Now let me take this one right here so you, did, you can you can see the both of them. Okay, also you can work with correction like uh, red eyes, uh, white and teeth, remove some spots that you don't like. Also you have some other effects uh, like filters. You can change this and make it like an oil painting or a drawing with charcoal. You can sketch it and do a lot of stuff. Again, manipulate, you can blur and create a blurred image and other stuff here. I cannot go through everything because it would take a long time. But if you like this video, please again, support us and write comments and make us know that you really like this video and that you want us to do more. And we will do maybe other guides or perhaps uh, an entire video course on this really nice tool. So to end, we can go to export and you can send this via email. You can upload it on the Ashampoo web application. You can set it as wallpaper. You can print it in the page or you can print it in a PDF. And if you want to save a simple image, just go to file, save file, and that's it. You have saved that. 
or you can go here and save these as and you can save this again totally free you and you will find the picture in the folder that you have chosen so this is all for this video guys thank you for watching and again support us any way you can subscribe to the channel check our other video courses in the channel so thank you for watching see you in the next video guide